Hi, this video deals with one of the ways of dealing with multicollinearity issues. Let's deal with what is multi. Let's see what multicollinearity is in a regression analysis. <coughs> These are the independent variables. The dependent variable is the sales. We we'll look at here the NOI is significant. We have a good R square of 0.486. When we come down further, if you look here, there is a drastic reduction from zero order partial correlations to part correlation and also the tolerance level is low tolerance level is indicates the unique variance and the variance inflation factor is about 8 which suggests multicollinearity problem the I, 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 I eigenvalues are also approximating to 0 for above dimension 5 ones and the condition index which should be less than 30 is high for more than six dimensions. This suggests multicollinearity problem, and hence the mean and standard deviations uh, of the coefficients will not be correct because there would be high standard error. One of the ways of dealing with it is we calculate the z scores of independent variables. Take it as save as. Now we have the Z score, we run the linear regression, this time not with the original variables of independence, rather with the Z scores. <coughs> yes, it's working, the model statistics is not changed because we have not de dealt with the correlations also the coefficients and the correlations have not changed much the vif is the same however if you look down the eigen values have this time improved and also the condition index which was about between 125 has in improved so in order to further deal with this issue what we do is that like we go to a dimension reduction go to factor we this time do a factor analysis on the z scores all the 10 z scores or 10 independent variables here we don't do anything in extraction we go to fixed factors and we plug in the value 10 because we have 10 independent variables all all of them will be used for factor analysis for rotation very max then scores will be saved as variables so that like we can use it in the regression now we'll go to regression go to linear this time we should have independent variable as z scores we take in the factor scores If you look here, trick has worked. Now, the beta coefficients what you have are more reliable because it has removed the multicollinearity issues. Thanks for watching.